Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be finishing up with the team that we had kicked out from the roulette wheel earlier in the week. It's been a crazy up and down week. We had some really good games so far this week. We had some great selections as well thrown out from you guys through that roulette wheel and we are ending up today and we've got one more button to activate before we get into today's episode so the last couple of days the results last few days the results have not been going as well as i would have liked um but part and parcel of the the roulette series i guess we will continue on though and we will try and see if we can get that magic combination we'll try again next week we'll obviously try our hardest today but I have to nominate a Pokemon to go out with the squad today before we come in to today's one, before we take the Patreon nominations. So I have had a look at the Patreon's nominations this week. They're already in the wheel waiting to be nominated. I'm going to select, I think I'm going to select Golduck. It didn't do very much yesterday. I know I should probably give it a chance, but I feel like the other members of the team are a bit more integral to how we need things to act. I'm going to keep pretty much everything the same, depending on what we get. But I'm going to nominate Golduck. So we're going to go over to the wheel right now, activate that Patreon button, and see what we get for our sixth member of the team. <laughs> I ran a drum. Okay, that's cool. Johnny, thank you so much for the suggestion. It's an interesting pick, at least. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing how it fits into the team and what we can do with it. I feel like with the Crobat, um, it can be very strong. I've opted for the Z move on it. The team, as always, is down in the description below with the Raw Paste and the Poker Paste. Uh, so we've got the team to finish up the week Crobat, Duskmane Necrozma, which is Ultra Necrozma as well. We've got Infernip, we've got Rayquaza, which is the mega of the team. We've got Tyranitrum and the Ditto. So the, the mainstays of the team have been the, Incinor and the Infernip that I keep calling Incineroar and the Ditto as well. But we've got the Z move on the Tyranitrum, we've got the Rock Smash there. Uh, head smash, I think that's the, the one, the 150 base attack, which is ridiculous. If we can get it going, I think it can do some work. We've got to be very careful, as we've seen this week. We've got a few exploits that we uh, need to be a little bit careful around. I've went back to the Infernip with the King's Rock, so we've got double flinch if we, if we can get that off. But we'll hop over to our main screen and try and find our first opponent. So our rating, as always, is taking a bit of a tanking, but it's fine. We've got Jurek. I think we played this guy earlier in the week, so this is the, the time for revenge. And he's got a different team, so we'll hop over into team preview, see if we can get some revenge in this first episode today. So they are playing a team of Groudon, Mewtwo, Snorlax, Clefairy, Crobat, and Muck. We didn't see the Snorlax and the Clefairy, I don't think, earlier in the week, but definitely that Groudon. Maybe it was Xerneas and Mewtwo, I'm not too sure, but let's see if we can get a result here against this team. Uh, Crobat going to be extremely useful for us. They've also got a Crobat, so we need to be careful with that. Um, okay. So I think Rayquaza are going to be very good for us again because we've got the banded set with Waterfall that can deal with that Groudon pretty effectively. Um, I do want to bring the Tyranitrum because I think that can just generally be good. And to be honest, Ultra Necrozma with the Sword Stance could be good here. Um, it's going to be difficult though. Like the, the Alola Muck is a pain, but we do have Earthquake on Anacrosma, so we can make use of that. I think this might be a one that we could potentially steal, but it's not going to be as easy as me saying that. So we'll lock in and we'll get into this first one, and good luck to my opponent. I don't know what to do with this roulette series. Come on. I just, I just, I've, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's, it is hard. I'm not complaining about it. It's hard. I knew what I was getting into when we started this series. It is It is tough, though. It's been one of the more... The, probably the toughest Pokemon challenge I've ever had to deal with. Never mind building. Building a team for an event now is going to be a breeze. Building for a competitive <laughs> series going forward. Breeze. Breeze. It is going to be a breeze. I guess that's a good part of this series. I'm going to see Snorlax and Crobat come out for my opponent. I think I've got to worry about a potential explosion here. Uh, which I would definitely worry about. I'm going to Tailwind. I don't want to lose Rayquaza just yet. I'm going to bring in Duskmane because I feel like if that Snorlax goes boom, uh, at least that Steel type and I'll take it a little bit better than our Rayquaza. Because that Crobat could potentially have a Sash. 
Uh, we'll see a tailwind. We don't want to go for the taunt to risk that speed tie and losing it. So we'll just match the tailwinds at least this way. Keeping pace with my opponent's team. And what's a Snorlax going to do? Belly drum. Okay, that's fine. It's not, the, it's not the most. It's not the best. But we've got haze. So I mean, it's not the worst either, is it? So we can let's go for haze here. Um, and I think um, we could just sword stance. But the problem is the Snorlax probably has Earthquake. It probably has Stomp and Tantrum as well. Um, where we could just go for a Protect here. The worst thing that could happen is the Crobat taunt us. <laughs> we lose a Speed Eye again. That would be the worst. So the Snorlax is going to Protect. Okay, revealing that. Um, and we get the Haze, which is nice. Okay, so we get rid of that Belly Drum. That's a big plus for us. Do we see a taunt here? Uh, Crobat going for a Whirlwind. Ah, okay. Did we get requires a back in? Come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Game on, my friends. Because we can drag in a scent that Snorlax, get rid of it. Super Fang, the opposing Crobat. And uh, things are looking a bit, a little bit brighter for us going forward. So let's go for that. Um, thank goodness we got that haze off, though. That is the big, the big bonus for us. Because that Snorlax, it must be a Turbo Lax as well. Going for a belly drum with a, a tailwind. It's got to be turbo lax. Has to be. Uh, we'll get the super fine. We win the speed tie again. And uh, get the uh, crowbar done at half health. Super fine coming back out onto us. Into our ray. Which is fine. And we'll get this dragon ascent into the snorlax. It's going to be banded. Going to be more than enough to pick up the knockout onto the, the big old lax here. Take that down and get rid of that threat for it is able to do anything so acrobat sitting in a pretty nice position now uh, still full health still got the sash intact tailwind up Rayquaza still sitting pretty as well with access to that dragon ascent it's going to be doing a lot of damage we've got access to take out that uh, acrobat the next turn Groudon going to come in um, yeah and I think from here on out we should be should be alright I think what I'll do is just super fine and Dragon Ascent. Uh, I'll super find the Groudon, Dragon Ascent, the Crobat, just to get rid of it. Because I want to be able to deny them getting any more uh, speed control up after this turn. Um, so I think the worst thing that could happen here would be that they taunt us this turn. But if they do that, then they're not getting any damage off with Crobat. It makes it a bit more likely that Rayquaza could potentially stick around for another turn. <sighs> Okay, another Super Fang. That, this Super Fang Malarkey, I haven't, I can't say I've missed it. Um, I ran Super Fang pretty much all 2016 season, and uh, the amount of times it misses is a real pain. Uh, Rock Slide, wow. Okay. Ray gonna be going down, and Crobat taking a big chunk of damage for that. For its trouble. Okay. Um, do we have in the back? Do we have Ditto? No, we got Tyranitron. Okay. Ooh, it's going to make it difficult using this Earthquake, isn't it? Um, hmm. We need to get a speed control up. I wonder if it's... Oh, it's going to be Mewtwo. If it's Mega Mewtwo Y, it becomes even more difficult to deal with. I think we've got to just Mega uh, Ultra Burst and Earthquake here. Um, I think that's and, and not worry about the tailwind because I think the Mewtwo just attacks if it is Mega Mewtwo Y it just attacks into the Crobat um, although we could tailwind tailwind's always good because we need the Tyrannosaurus to actually be able to do something here and I think this turn we can Earthquake pretty freely with our Necrozma so we've got to just go for it I think does win. The, the Groudon's likely got Precipice Blades here. It's me too, X. Uh, okay, so that's exactly like we saw. So we might be able to get the speed jump. That's what we need. It's got Rock Slide, I'm pretty sure. So we need to... We need to outspeed it and get the Tailwind up. If we can get the Tailwind up, we're sitting in not a bad position. But otherwise, it's not looking so pretty for us right now. We get the Tailwind, okay. So Tyrannosaurum can come in and actually do something this next turn. We get the Earthquake. We actually outspeed the Mewtwo, which is interesting. Don't affect the Crobat. 
um, but get some decent damage onto both. Uh, potentially put that guard on in. Okay, we're going to see a low kick. Uh, not going to affect us. Wow, it does so much damage and not very effective, but does so much damage. And the fire punch into the crowback going to take us down there. Can't believe how much that low kick does. That's insane. Tyranitrum going to come in. Um, hmm. This is difficult now because I feel like we don't really have the resources to take this Mewtwo down. Um, and we can't Earthquake. We've got to go for the Z-move, I think, into the Groudon. <sighs> will it get it, though? I don't know if it will. I really don't think it will. Um, and we've got to go for the Sunsteel Strike, I think, into the Mewtwo and hope we, we, can, we can get it. I just don't... I don't see it happening, but you never know. If we can get rid of the Groudon, it will make things a bit easier for us. So we're not going to see any Protect come out from my opponent, which is the first thing, the bonus here. Not going to get the Mewtwo. Uh, but it can only take down potentially one target, which might which might open the door for us to do something with, with whatever we've got left. Um, we've got to get the ground on here. We've got to get the ground on, though. That's the big thing. Can we get the ground on? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Come on, Tyrannosaurus, be the be the Tyrannosaurus Rex we need you to be. <laughs> yes, we get it, but it's not <laughs> it's not so clean cut. It's really not so clean cut. Uh, there's another low kick coming in. It's into the Tyrannosaurus. It is going to take him down. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know if the Sunsteel Strike's enough to get the Mewtwo. I really don't. We've got no option. Let's see if we can end the week on a high. Mewtwo going to protect. It doesn't matter because we're like even if a tailwind runs out, we know we're faster than it. So it's it's all about whether we get it or not. Feeling like we can do it, potentially. We're doing better staying in Duskmane, maybe. Just to get that stab on the steel attack. Come on, Ultra Necrozma, let's do this. Please do it, please, come on. Let's get a win. But it rock slides. It's not enough. We get away with it. A low kick would have been the, would have been the play. I feel like we've cheated our opponent, but they've made the wrong decision there, rock sliding. Um, and we are going to pick up a victory. So, Tyranitrum doing some work here to kick us off today. Pulling us back to three wins. Six losses. <laughs> I say it like it's a good thing. We can finish, maybe. Maybe, if we have a quick game next, that would take us to four. Uh, wins if we get a win obviously and then we can maybe push on to five maybe we have like a quadruple episode today for the first time ever we need some quick games though we need some super quick games so you need to find opponents quickly that doesn't matter because I can just cut them but then let's hop over to our screen we've been flirting with 1500 far too much let's go with something like um, what music we're we gonna go for uh, Earth and Foundation, we got Light up next, 1453, so let's see what they've they've got, Team Preview. Dual Primals, which is very exciting, so we've got Thunderous, we've got Kyogre, uh, Groudon, uh, Tabulele, Salamence, and Bronzong. What have we got to shut down the Bronzong? We've got Crobat for sure, but ugh, makes it difficult with the Prankster on Thunderous, definitely. Um, hmm... Hmm, definitely want Ditto here, I feel. Hmm, Tyranitrum could be potentially good if we can get a Tailwind up. It's just going to be hard to get a Tailwind up against. Um, and the Lele makes it difficult to get the Crobat going. Okay, we'll go Crobat. Um, is there any Intimidate? Just on Salamence, that's fine. Um, do we want Infernape? If the Lele comes out, it does make it difficult. Um, and I don't want to be in a position where we are really screwed against uh, a Lele Kyogre lead. Where we could go maybe Rayquaza, but then we're not going to be able to... We need the Tailwind, pretty much. Uh, let's go Ditto, and do we go Ray as well? I don't know if I want... Oh, actually, huh. We could go Infernape. No, we can't, we can't. 
we need to go Ray, we need to go Ditto, and then we'll go Tyranitron. We'll lock in. Uh, just too many Pokemon that make it very difficult for us to kind of get Crobat going, especially that Thunderous. The Prankster Taunt is really annoying. Um, and like I say, if they go down the other route with Tapu Lele Kyogre, if we do lead in, in uh, Infernape there, then we're kind of screwed because the Lele has the ability to prevent our fake out. The, the Kyogre's in an, an amazing position, but we're not going to see that. We're going to see the Bronzong and the Kyogre come out. Huh. Hmm. Okay. So, it's not Scarf Kyogre. I'm paying attention now. Um... Hmm. What do we do? Do we taunt the bronze on? I want to deny. I've got to deny the trick room. The problem is, it could be, um, could be mental herb. Bronze on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna crunch it, and I'm gonna taunt it. I'm gonna go double, double into it because the Kyogre could protect here. It might not as well, but if I drag an ascent into the Kyogre, it survives in ice beams. We're gonna lose Rayquaza anyway. Let's try and just get, like, a, maybe a Super Fang and, and a Crunch would have been better. Kyogre, thankfully, protects, which is decent. Um, so as long as our Taunt isn't deactivated by a Mental Herb, then that's ideal. No, so that's good. And we get the Crunch into the Bronzong. Damn. Ah, uh, there's a Trick Room, though. Hmm. But at least it can't use hypnosis. I guess that that's like one thing we've got going for us here. It can't use the hypnosis. Because of the taunt. Um I'm gonna super fang the Kyogre. I'm gonna leave the bronze on alone. I'm gonna bring Ditto in. And I know we're scoffed. I know we're scoffed, but Kyogre's the best thing. That, like a Ditto to Kyogre is the best thing you've got to switch in for this potential water spout that's gonna come out from my opponent. And at least by us doing this, we will be able to um, get a super fang onto the Kyogre as well. My opponent probably would have been better off keeping the Bronzong in and doubling in on the Crobat here uh, with the water spout. And uh, a gyro ball, but we're not gonna see that. We'll get Ditto and get our scoffed Kyogre. Uh, get the rain up. So, uh, ice beam. Is that into our yeah Kyogre? So that's that's probably the best case scenario for us, honestly. Super fan coming out from Crobat. We've still got our sash intact, which is excellent. Um, and we're probably in a nice position where we can get the Salamence. Uh, could go for a double edge into us, for sure. Um, but I probably want to go for a super fan again into the Kyogre and go ooh. Ooh, Kyogre's got Thunder. Hmm. And it definitely probably wants the Thunder here. Can we bring in Tyranitrum? Because if we switch out our Kyogre, the rain does go. And I don't think you go for a water type attack here, to be honest. I think you got Ice Beam or Thunder. Um, and I think if we can get... Okay, Kyogre's going to switch out. That's fine. Groudon's going to come in. He could have went for the Ice Beam. Hmm. Getting Tyranitrum in here, though, isn't the worst thing in the world at all. Because in Trick Room, potentially the slowest thing, uh, potentially not, if that Groudon's min speed, though. That's the, the, the worrying thing. Uh, but if the Salamence goes for a double edge, like I kind of expected to into our Kyogre. Oh, okay. I'm going to see a double switch. Bronze on come back in. Huh. Super Fang into the Groudon. Okay, that's nice. Get some decent damage off there. Um, I think we go for a Taunt into the Bronzong for sure. Uh, and we'll switch in Rayquaza. Keep Tyranitrum around for later. We know, like, if the Kyogre comes back in, the Tyranitrum will outspeed it because it's it's more than likely minimum speed Kyogre. We just need to get through these Trick Room turns. Like I said before, my opponent could go for the double into the Crobat here with 
um, possibly an eruption, jar ball, fire punch, jar ball. Oh, you're going for the blind hypnosis. Remember that it has switched out, so its accuracy boost has it has gone. Um, so that is blind and the substitute. <laughs> uh, cracking, brilliant. Uh, that's what we that's what we like to see. Uh, I'm gonna go extreme speed into the Bronzong, and I think we'll go for a super fang into the ground on there. I just need to remove the speed control from my opponent's side of the field. <sighs> and the extreme speed will definitely the Bronzong is in a position now where it's gonna get picked up. Whatever happens, um, and we can't allow this Bronzong to to hypnosis anything else. So, uh, be magic if if our Crobat wakes up here. I'm gonna see a fire punch into Crobat. Yep. Do we wake up? It, we do. We get the Super Fang as well. Excellent news for us. <laughs> this should break the sub. Crobat. Oh, it doesn't. No, of course it doesn't break the sub because it only does half damage to what the sub. Salamence probably come in now. Um, but the speed control's pretty much gone. We can taunt the Salamence to prevent a Tailwind. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, an extreme speed, the uh, ground on sub, just to get rid of it. Um, taunt, the Salamence, extreme speed, the ground on. Okay. Things looking a little bit better for us right now. It's not over by a long shot, but we've still got Tyrannitrum in the back with its Z move be able to pick up most of the chaos now on any like anything that it hits now that my opponent's got left it'll be able to to knock out with that z move so it should be able to do some work uh salamence gonna mega evolve i think like i said the the tailwind here is what i worry about um i'm not worried about rayquaza going down now to a, a, a potential draco meteor um i think my opponent's gonna try and get their speed control going with their salamence that'll make the most sense uh, okay, so the ground I'm going to protect. I'm going to see taunt into that Salamence. We'll see what the Salamence goes for. Is it going to Tailwind? Draco Meteor. Okay, that's the, yeah. That's where it's going. Um, yeah. Now, do we, do we, do we go into Groudon here? We could go into Groudon. Like I say, Groudon might not be a bad shout. I'd prefer to go into Kyogre though if I'm going to do anything. Um, so we could bring in Tyranitrum now. Could Super Fang the Groudon again. That's sub. We could Earthquake as well. That's the other thing. We could just go for a Super Fang Earthquake. Um, or we could just get rid of the Salamence. It can't protect. That's the, that's the thing cannot protect so we can go for the continental crush into that um yeah I'm, I'm gonna do that i'm gonna do it the salamence is taunted it can't protect i'm gonna get a knockout there it, i don't think it's got a way to actually get rid of tyrannitrum a draco meteor potentially but minus two is it gonna pick up the knockout there there's a sub going Going for a double edge. It would have been better going for a uh, Draco Meteor, I think. It does knock out the Crobat. Um, oh, the Groudon actually had speeds. Oh. But we hang on. We hang on. Come on, Tyranitrum. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm talking about. The, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. It is the best. It looks. It look at its design. It looks amazing. It looks so good. If it went down, I would be like, "It's the worst Pokemon ever." But it didn't, and it's gonna take down the Salamence. It's done some work this week. It's Tyranitrum, 100%. There we go. We'll get rid of that. We know the Groudon's faster than us, but we've got the end goal because we get our Ditto in, and we know what's coming in on my opponent's side of the field. It's gonna be the Kyogre. So, we get the rain up. My opponent's like, no! Um, and then we've got the head smash, which is going to be more than enough to get rid of the Kyogre. And we're scoffed Primal Kyogre. So there's no way the Groudon can beat us. We lock into Water Spout, and it's done. It's 
done, it's done, it's done. I'm telling you now, there's no way my opponent comes back and we might have one more. We might have time for another match. Oh, okay, we've not got Water Spout, um, but we don't need it. We've got Scald into the Groudon and we've got Head Smash, which we're gonna go into the Kyogre. And I'm pretty sure a Head Smash will be enough to get the Kyogre. It's like 150 base stab off an adamant Tyranitrum. I'm pretty sure we should be able to pick up the knockout here. There's the skull. We've got to outspeed the Kyogre. We do. Head smash. <laughs> oh, aim. Done. <laughs> oh, Tyranitrum, you are the boy. You are my boy. And he goes down. You've done so well. Come back, have a tasty rest. We'll take you to Nurse Joy and you can have some nice Nurse Joy time after this match. Um, I promise you that as a treat. So there we go. Scald into Groudon. Uh, very good game to my opponent. Really tight game there, but uh, we managed. What? How is that outspeeding? How does. Oh, that. Yeah, because, because that's max speed Groudon. We copied the speed stat of the Kyogre, which is 100% min speed. 100%. That was close. That was close. That was close, man. But we take a victory, good game to lie, and because of that, we are four wins, six losses. We're 26 minutes in. Let's have one more. Kick into Friday with three games. Let's do it. Um, I'm feeling good about the team. We've got the Tyranitrum in here now. We're on a roll. And I'll make a decision. I'll make a decision if we can win this next one. If we can win the next one. Then we'll go to one more to tie it up because I'm desperate to tie up these these weeks neutral. That's what it's all about. We'll try and do it. I'm going to curse it now by going for Ultra Necrozma version 2. We're not going to do that. We're going to go Ultra Necrozma version 1. And if we can win this one, then we got Ultra Necrozma version 2. Okay, the logic there doesn't make much sense. But let's get into our, our main screen and let's see how we can do it. Come on. Right, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. What I'm going to do is speed the episode up as well. It's just cut it here. We'll come straight back when we get that next opponent of the episode. And we got our next opponent. So here we go, friends. Let's get into it. Let's see what we can do against this next team. So we're going up next against the ground on Lunala, Tapu Fini, Salamence, Incineroar, and Tapu Koko. So... If it's the team I think it is, it's going to be all centered around Trick Room. You've got the two offensive fast Pokemon of the team in Mega Salamence and Tapu Koko. There could also be Tailwind support here, but uh, I think pre predominantly you're looking at Tailwind. Uh, Trick Room on Lunala to set up that Groudon, and then the, the Finny and Incineroar to support it from there. So Trick Room going to be the main thing of this team that we need to get around. Crowback going to be good at shutting that down for sure. So definitely something I want to lead with. What do we want to pair with it? Do we want to bring Incineroar here? Uh, Incineroar could be good. We've got the Fling. It could be used against the Lunala for sure if we want to stop that um, in its tracks. So that might be a nice option. Um, I think I'll go that for sure. Um, let's go. Hmm. Do we want to bring Tyranitrum? Tyranitrum. Um, or do we want to go Duskman here? Hmm. I definitely want to bring Rayquaza, I think. Uh, I do need to be a little bit worried about the Tapu Koko. Um, but. Uh, does mean across my Tyranitrum? Mm. Tyranitrum does pretty decent against most things, barring the Tapu Koko, but even then, I think it still does alright. Let's look in with these. These mad mix of Pokemon. Let's see if we can get the turkey. Let's go for three in a row. <sighs> We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Come on, the flinch squad. What are we worried about? What are we worried about? Nothing. <laughs> We've got the most random set of Pokemon. We're doing all right, we're fine. Um, let's see Lunala come out. And the Tabu Finny. Uh, what do we fake out? What do we, what do we fake out first? Uh, do we taunt the Lunala? Or do we fling? Who knows? Who knows what do we do? Uh, I feel like probably taunting the Lunala is not a bad play. 
and you can fake out the uh, the old the old tap and finny there. Your knowledge is protecting. That's fine. Uh, we'll fake out the finny. That is also fine um, because they know the taunt's coming in there. We can fling into the. Um, fling into Luna, Lunala now I think that's a quite a nice option and just go for a super fang into the finny um, we'll go for the fling there just to stop it attacking this turn and then we, we can maybe go for a flare blitz the next turn Ooh, I'm going to see the Lunala switch out Groudon come in ah, it's a bit annoying isn't it a little bit annoying but it's still alright it's not going to be the worst I mean the fling into the finny would have been the better play wouldn't it um, it's going to icy wind I'd imagine that's probably what it goes for. Super Fang's going to be super useful into it, though. Um, and I think, like, what you always do against this sort of situation is try and get rid of these things that are, are kind of shutting you down. And um, then you can bring... Ooh, what's that? Oh, no. It's Gravity, and it was just the King's Rock. Okay, so we're going to see Gravity take effect. Um, hmm... A little bit more trickier. Definitely a bit more trickier. Uh, we'll go for a Super Fang into the Groudon. And I think... Do we Flare Blitz as well? Or do we just go close combat into the Groudon? Hmm. What do we... Like, is there anything we've got? We can't really switch anything in right now. Um, we could go for a Tailwind ourselves. Because then it sets Tyranitrum to come in, doesn't it? It really does. Tailwind, and we could go for a close combat or a flare blitz. What's going to do more? What's going to do more? Probably a close combat into the ground on, to be honest. So we'll go for that. I just need to get some damage on. Okay, ground on going to survive. Hang around. That's fine because it means that Crawback gets at least another turn to throw out a close combat, and and, and also Incineroar, uh, Infinite as well. Incineroar. I need to stop saying that. Um, and we'll see an icy win now. Yeah. I see, I see wind. Okay, I don't mind this though. Because now we get the super fine. Close combat into the, the Groudon. I doubt it'll be enough, but... Um, and then it kind of paves the way a little bit for... Out of the Pokemon to, to hit the field and sweep up. Because Finny's in range from a Tyranitrum. Rock Smash, Z-Move. Requires us in an, uh, such a good position now to come in and just start chucking out these dragon ascents onto everything we took Thea to the beach at the weekend it was amazing we had a great time but ah, man I'm so sunburned across my chest I'll not get my chest out it's I'm trying to look for something really pink I don't have anything that pink it doesn't exist in this room um, yeah it's it's pretty illuminous I've been like layering up e e e45 cream is like the best for like sunburn I don't you I don't ever use um, anything like um, after sun I always use e45 cream and it is it is pretty amazing so oh so close to getting that crowd on Unfortunately, because of the gravity, the Precipice Blades can't miss, so we'll pick up the KO on both targets here. It's a bit of a shame that the Crobat's Sash has been broken. Um, and the Lunala switch in is pretty nice there for my opponent. It does mean that they're going to have a way to set up their Trick Room next turn. Um, oh man, come on. Let's click the right buttons. Let's click the right buttons. Uh, but we can potentially go for an Earthquake with Tyranitrum and a Dragon Ascent. Or a Crunch. Hmm. What's going to do more? Crunch is probably going to do more to Lunala, but a Banded Dragon Ascent. It's just whether or not. Because then the Earthquake will get the ground on. Um, it's just whether or not the Dragon Ascent will do enough to the Lunala to put it in Earthquake range. Whereas a Crunch might. It's just Crunch isn't really going to be that useful for us to be locked into going into the latter turns of this game. But if we're just looking at Finny and Incineroar as the last two, then I don't see it really mattering too much from there. So maybe Crunch is the better one to go for. Crunch Earthquake. I'm going to just do it. So Groudon I'm going to switch out. That's fine. 
I think we're gonna see my po oh, we're gonna see Incineroar come in. Probably yeah, not gonna be enough now. It's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Banded minus one crunch, plus an earthquake, minus one. We should have targeted the Lunala with our Z move. They're gonna get the trick room up now, and there's very little we can do to kind of come around that unless this crunch can do do the business. And we need to put in this Lunala right down into Oh, it's gonna actually protect. Okay. Earthquakes, night. We're gonna hit our Rayquaza as well, which is the problem. No, it's not doing too much because of the Intimidate there. Um, can a Z move? We can't get around. We cannot get around the fake out. That's the only problem. I'm gonna have to try and go for the Z move into the Lunala and go for the Crunch as well, double in on that slot. I just feel like you probably fake out the Rayquaza and then the Z move's not gonna be enough to get the Lunala and it will allow uh, the Trick Room to get set up now. Unless we get a critical hit. Critical hit. Continental Crush. And that might be enough. And if we do get it, I think that will be enough for us to win this game. I really do. Let's hope a crit, come on. Let's do it. <laughs> it's pitiful. <laughs> We're not going to see a trick room though. We're going to see a Z move. Um, where's this into? I mean, we've, if we lose the Tyranitrum, we've got nowhere to beat. I don't know if I mind this as much because I think the Tyranitrum, if it's slow ground on, it can it can potentially clean up here. I think we've got to get the Lunala the next turn with the the, the head smash though. That's the only thing. Um. I think if you're my opponent, you probably would be better off going for uh, the Tyranitrum there. But the gravity turns back to normal. I'm not worried about the Incineroar unless it's got a random low kick. Um, but let's see what a head smash does here to this Lunala. Ah, uh, it's, it's a faster variant. Okay. We're kind of banking on it being a really slow Lunala. And yeah, I mean, more than enough. That is the end to that. But never mind, it's been a great run. We cannot complain. We did our best. And our best was not good enough this time around on this occasion. But that's not to mean we can't come back stronger next week. And each week I feel like things are getting better. Little improvements are being made, aren't they? So four losses, seven win. Uh, phew. Four wins, seven losses. Let's get it right. Will not skew things. But it's been a lot of fun. Anyway, I've had a lot of fun with the, the, the combination of Pokemon that we've had this week. Thank you again for all the nominations. Do get your nominations in for next week. Uh, to run the community post of the channel. And uh, we'll be back on Monday with more roulette action. So, guys, have a great weekend. It's been a bit of a longer one today. But I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. And have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you all on Monday for another episode of our road to ranked let's see me santa lentica and bye bye